time. Just remember, you voted for this. We gave you an opportunity. Ah. Okay. Uh, here we have uh, Tom Myhan, an old has been. Uh, he wanted to go first because he's going to sneak out as soon as he gets recognized. I just heard that my keynote when did it the service. Perfect. Perfect. He didn't know if he was going to get arrested or not. King Lion Cindy. Uh, it's great to be back. Uh, Martha and I have been uh, out here. We went to the beach, spent a week at Eagle Bay, and then another week at Long Beach, and uh, came in here on Sunday. And so, definitely wanted to make a visit here to the Lions and see everybody. But we all, I also wanted to make sure, because I know you missed the Notre Dame hat box. Our sad, really. our sad bucks. Last year, we had twice as many sad bucks as we had happy bucks. So, I have $20 here, happy sad, for the Fighting Irish, and either Lion Ken Patero or Doc Little are going to, you know, let you know what the Irish did. <laughs> right. So, uh, there's 20 happy sad bucks for the Mighty Irish. Thank you, man. As soon as he said the Fighting Irish, the sports guru in the room kind of winced and kind of grimaced a little bit. Did everybody see him? Anyway, thanks, Tom. Hey, who else is close here? we got to go fast because everybody's really happy after a three-day weekend. How about my Mark Helm? President City of Hell Alliance against two sad dollars. So the first sad dollar is the passing of Tom Wright. The uh, second sad dollar is, we, the first part's pretty happy. We had a new grand niece born in Hillsboro early Friday morning, so my wife and I decided to drive down. It took an hour and 15 minutes to get to Woodland from the Long Beach Y. And thanks to more stop and go in Delta Park and the Sunset Highway, it ended up taking us two hours and 45 minutes to get to Hillsboro. Okay. Uh, almost got you for another buck. Uh, whoops. I'll get it back. I'll get it back. Uh, uh, Sandy fellow Lions and Guests uh, have uh, like five dollars worth of sadness and happiness. We took a vacation of each sad about Tom passing. Uh, when I first started to be ran rotted into being secretary treasurer, they made me uh, Talk to Tom and Tom's. I believe Tom was the one who told me it was an hour a week. <laughs> <laughs> Little did I know he had a secretary. Over <laughs> here. Why is John Claypool? Why is John? This one. President Cindy, fellow Lions and Gallery. I too will miss uh, past President, past Secretary Tom Wright. He was. Uh, a wonderful character, and uh, I shall miss hearing his jokes each year. All, all of he had a lot of jokes, but my favorite, of course, was, and go ahead and reset the base. Uh, does anybody remember, yeah, the horse to run in on? Like Jim Stoney. President Cindy, the Lions and guests, uh, this is uh, in honor of uh, Mr. Harvey. Mr. Harvey last week stood up and gave a happy buck because there was a hurricane named after him. <laughs> Harvey, if you will anyway, remember, I have Harvey was a category four. four. Five. This week, there's her mom. She's category five. Just trying to keep moving. Not the first time he's been overshadowed by a woman.
interest to a lot of things. And you got trouble with a lot of people thinkers about that. A lot of guys in here have a history, you know, a lot of, a lot of things, but you know what I mean? What? Or have a history. <laughs> <laughs> Brian Ron. Friends of Sydney fell like this. Five dollars. Uh, first one, I didn't wear my safe, my uh, spirit day stuff. Uh, second one, I, this is, I'll, I'll take a short trip with this. Mike Parker got it on second. The first one wasn't fast enough for it. So he turned in his 1990 for a 98, which is a C4 rather than a C3. No, C5. C5, with almost double the horsepower, which he demonstrated to me on South Military Monday. And we went from 30 miles an hour to 80 miles an hour in four and a half seconds. Yes. So that's what I got my funding. Hey, uh, Tom Wright, love the man, uh, great guy, what a sense of humor. Well, I particularly like him as he got more sort of sarcastic at the end of his life. And when people would tell him what kind of a day to have, he'd say, don't tell me what kind of a day to have. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't understand sarcasm. I hate sarcasm. <laughs> ah, here. Lion Doc. King Lion said to his fellow Lion's guests, I've got three happy dollars. Two happy dollars, one set, and the ones for Tom Wright, who certainly was a character and a, I thought was a great guy. Uh, the second uh, is you're going to hear more about Gonzaga basketball later. But I just thought I'd tell you about Gonzaga High School this past weekend. Played Garfield in the Husky Stadium, won three overtimes. They both scored a touchdown in the third overtime. And then they won for two points and didn't make it, so they lost by one point. And I forget what the third name was. Oh, points. <laughs> All right. let, let me tell you about Gonzaga Middle School. <laughs> <laughs> They're number three in a three league and a three team league. So you don't have to hear more about President Merrill. President City, fellow Lions and guests, I got five dollars, they're kinda all mixed. Wanted to remember to say all of this. First one is for Tom Ray, I will miss that crusty character. And I will miss him calling you what's your name or what's his name or whoever you are. That's right, whatever. So, uh, my sister lives in Kansas and she sent me a picture today of their truck that was sitting outside of their house. It's not only smoke, it's little chips of wood. It's really strange looking at that. So, a little concerned for her. Um, it's always fun to have reminiscing on our daughter who you will hear about, I'm sure, with the Lower Columbia Athletics, where the volleyball squad last year took the Inouac tournament, and that hadn't happened since 1991, which just happens to be our daughter's year at LCC in volleyball. So, a matter of pride on that one. I should probably let you guys move along. We will not be able to go to the ice cream uh, wagon Council Highlander days, we're going to be out of town. Oh, okay. Anybody else here? I'm great. Whoops. Oh, she, uh, yeah. 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 Ryan Dolly. <laughs> President City Council Lions, the gas ball. Friday, we picked up a carpet cleaning machine at Lowe's. Found out it was on sale. I mean, it was a special. Who cleans carpets on Labor Day weekend? You do. <laughs> <clears throat> Do you want to know where I live? Um, <laughs> well, I know. Thank you, uh, Lion Jim. Uh, lucky that Hurricane Dave was Irma. I'll, I'll get to that in a second. What's the one thing you thought, Your Honor? Luckily that Hurricane Dave was Irma, not Dolly. Yeah. Oh, I feel okay. Now, President, Cindy, for the Lions and guests, this is a sad dollar for Tom. Oh, I've known Tom for a long time. I really miss his sarcasm. I miss seeing him, and I'm sure we're all going to miss him. And uh, so, 
just from the bottom of my heart, he is a great guy and a great line. Amen. All right. Hi, Is it my turn?
few people have seen how much of a rule breaker I am by uh, moving that one there, but no more force with them. They don't want to put it around here, I think so. Well, it may be in the 20th and maybe it doesn't. But uh, as I grow older, I realize that um, more and more uh, how important it is to uh, recognize God as what in his fear and his presence whether you're troubled or whether you're not, and to show love to your neighbors and all the people that you're around. And uh, today is Spirit Day. Uh, I'm going to do something too. It's going to be three dollars. I'm going to make it short. And I want to recognize, because there's something right over there. All, 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 uh, right over there. So, Mark Kills, and I'm wearing the black shirt. That's one of the three that you gave me. I'm glad that you I'm glad you out for him and thank you very much. And now this is the first one to do that. And here, here's the praise song. Praise ye the Lord, hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord, hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord, hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord. Since the spirit day, that's a good one. Is that more than one or? Yeah, with top yachts and RVs. And I hope so. And a guy that we know is the broker. I spent a nice and smoky day with my grandchildren down in Gaston, Oregon, where little Fauna is getting ready to go off to college at Western Oregon University. Get Matt is getting ready to get his driver's license. It's really kind of scary, isn't it? Yeah. He's all excited. Yeah. And the final happy dollar, Pat, I need some help with this one. Could you come over here for a second? I was out and about, and I found this safety award. And if you look where it's from, from International Paper, and look how you open it. Isn't that where the safest knives you ever seen? I go, you know where that should go, don't you? Congratulations, George Moore. This is your safety award. <laughs> It's really hard to open because it's all rusted. That's how those guys in IP stay safe. <laughs> well, they use, much, they, use open. they use much bigger knives over there, right, George? How about five out of four? Yeah. I didn't bring her. She drove I herself. Yeah. 
I'm kind of glad you're handling the mic because you, you were born on the same I'm sorry. God, you're going to look a little anyway. longer than it normally does. Queen Lion, I have a yeah, so I have a, yeah, but you need to quite speak too. Happy daughter. Go Coops, huh? Yeah. Who's that? Are you happy? Hey. There. Hey, I can give the short version. Hey guys. Hey guys. Who's got the mic here? You or me? I got the mic. This one doesn't work. My face has got the air raid This one doesn't work. On high gear. We got the jet plane full of fuel. Cindy, let me look. And we're flying high. I have a, a, a kind of a plane dollar here. Watch it. I, uh, in January, I gave a box of Doug gear to my favorite lion, Bill Olson. I thought today he might be wearing some of that for Dewey Duck Day. What happened? Uh, I forgot. Okay. It looks like it's out. Sorry, Sam, I had to take this one. So, let's all just remember that Lloyd Osborne is probably the only person on planet Earth who's had a disease named after him. You know, IBS. Oh. oh, was that too, is that too soon? Too soon. Okay, too soon. Back around. Big like. President Timmy fell on the gas. There's five bucks. One is for Tom. He was a great guy. I can remember this one time. It was not long ago. Mark Kelch and I were sitting up here, and he was standing right behind us, and we all standing up and getting ready to pray. And anyway, they said, Ah, oh, John Claypool's going to do the prayer and you're told you're on a roll today. Oh, he goes, oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> we just start laughing. And the other bucks are for the Gonzaga Parcheesi team. I noticed. I don't have a microphone. <laughs> President Cindy Lyons again with a happy buck for the family get together I met through last weekend. Lots of long lost relatives. Great. Right. 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 It's funny. Here we are. This always makes me so nervous. President Cindy fell alliance and down. I just personally like to welcome my doctor, Lance Brigman. I'm happy he decided to spend some of his retirement with us, but I, on a sad note, I have to find a new doll. I'm a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> This one, Mike is not working, so. Now I'm trying to set up and Jeff. Good to have you with us today. Thank you, I have a dollar for Tom. And then, I have a dollar to say, help, help. We've got a sock hop coming up and not enough tickets sold. Please. I have tickets for you. Come on then. There we go. As we walk up, I'm going to get mine. Oh. And that's what, yes. Oh, okay then. Anybody else? No, Steve. Blind you. President Cindy fell the lines again. Uh, Dolly, I'm with you. Uh, I went out to paint yesterday and I couldn't get the lid off the paint can. So I didn't do anything. <laughs> and, uh, that's a happy dollar or a sad dollar? And uh, the other dollar is for being here today. And then don't tell me what kind of day to have. <laughs> then we walk up. My five happy bucks is that I got to do a bucket list item yesterday. A friend uh, had the audacity to rest a Lamborghini, and so my son Sam and I got to ride in a Lamborghini yesterday. It was awesome, Lion Cindy. Here you go. Did you drive it? No! Oh, 
Thank, and I have three dollars, and I'm going to talk really fast. Um, I went on vacation last week with my grandchildren, ages two to fifteen, seven of them. Had a great, great time. So that led to the vacation that's coming up tomorrow. So. <laughs> and uh, Tom Rive, he was a great guy. And I got a new car, 2017, to take on my vacation to Leavenworth. Yay! Let's get this started. Invocation, Mike Florley. Pray for the healing of our land and of our people and our government. And Lord, bless each and every person here and heal the ones that are ill, we pray. Thank you for this day. Yeah. Yeah. Flag salute, Mike Furt. The Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible. Liberty and justice for all. Song by Greg Swanson. My country is of the sweet land of liberty, of the icing. Land where my fathers died, land of thy pilgrims' pride. From every mountain's high, let freedom ring. Thank you. Donna, do we have any guests? President Cindy, fellow Lions and guests, I'd like to introduce you to my longtime friend, Mark Denny, the West Coast paper liar, and this all around guy. Did you have a friend? Oh, yeah. 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 And we have Dolly with the Sunshine Report. There you go. Run, run, run. Oh, I'll be okay tomorrow. Resident City Fellow Lions and Guests, um, Shirley White, our, one of our newer members, mother passed away recently, and Jeanette Lynch, one of our newer members. And also, of course, you all know about Tom Wright. He does have a memorial service Saturday, September 16th, Trinity Lutheran at 12 noon. Wear yellow, please. Trinity. And then we have a Doug Harvey with two announcements. Okay, tonight at 6 o'clock, we'll have our uh, Free the Streets meeting. First time for the sub chairs to present their findings, and this will be an interesting meeting. Secondly, there will be a uh, a legacy committee meeting. It's kind of the wrap-up meeting for the legacy project. I'm scheduling that for this Thursday at five o'clock. Those who can make it. Also on your paper, you found this little uh, letter that I put together for the district. I am the GMP this year, responsible for district growth. And if you see from reading this letter, we are already 133 members of the whole, and so we got a lot of work to do this year. So bring new members in. If you have any questions on that, please give me a call. Well, talk to you. Thank you. Greg Furt. Uh, President Cindy Bell Lyons, yes. Uh, next week, uh, <clears throat> Wednesday, week from tomorrow, you're all familiar with Day of Caring. Uh, we've been asked to uh, have a rally at the end of the day. We have, we've been asked to prepare some hot dogs for them. And, Whatnot, and I need two more people to sign up. They're going from about two to five at the most. All we're going to do is eat hot dogs, put them on buns, and they can do their own work with catching the mustard. 
but it'd be a real easy, easy time. But I do need two more people. And uh, a total of 10 is how many shirts that they ordered for. Anybody want to do it? Okay. No, I already got you down, Jim. Over to the fairgrounds. Wednesday. Wednesday. Wednesday the 13th. Down tomorrow. So it's next uh, week. Okay, it's at 9. Okay, thank you. Yay. Um, Bob Jessen. President Cindy, the whole Lions and guests. Ice cream this weekend at the Highlander Fest, the 9th and the 10th, Saturday and Sunday. Uh, we've got 24 spots. I just looked at the sheet. We've only got eight. So I'm going to hold all of you hostage and not give the mic back to Pat until the tips are filled out. So we're going to have a standoff here. No, please stand and sign up so we can get that. Don't make Bob get me. Kathy Carmody. President Cindy, the whole land to get one spot left, like, guys, one spot left, and it's a full page for the picnic. Somebody's got to step up here and sign this sucker. <laughs> or I'm going to be really unhappy. You get Bob and I both going, and it's going to be trouble. So I need one more for the picnic, which is Sunday at Dolly and Mr. Harvey <laughs> at 2 o'clock on the 17th. So, one more signature, guys. Just one. And that is everybody, I think. So, we'll have Phil announce our speaker. Thanks, everybody. Oh, Steve has an announcement. Sorry. President Cindy, Lions and Guests Awards Committee meeting right after this meeting. We'll meet over here to address awards for the month of August. Now we're so prompt. <coughs> uh, President Cindy, fellow Lions and Guests, it's my pleasure today to introduce Kirk Rowland, who uh, probably most of you have heard. I don't know if you recognize him by face, but if you listen to KLOG at all, or if you attend almost any banquet in town, you've seen him MC. Uh, one of the interesting things about Kirk uh, is that he's a Hall of Famer. How many people knew that? I knew that. All right, you're good. Uh, yeah, he hit 500 home runs under his pseudonym. Well, no, not exactly. He's a Hall of Famer for the uh, for the Ruth and he has contributed mightily to that effort. And I kind of got a glimpse of why, why he has been so significant in that. Uh, a year ago, I, I think it was a year, maybe two, I was at the game, and uh, somebody noticed that there was a nail sticking out of a board in this grandstand. And Kirk went somewhere and found the biggest sledgehammer I've ever seen and pounded that sucker back in. And I looked at that and I thought, well, you know, there's probably 150 people that he could have delegated that to. And he didn't. He took care of it. So that spirit of service, I'm sure, is what got him into the Hall of Fame. Today he's here wearing the hat of athletic director at LCC. That has been a very busy time uh, the last year with lots of changes. So please give a warm Lions welcome to Kirk Rowland. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Please come to the LCC games this year. I, I, we're out of time, right? <laughs> How many mugs do you have? Now? <laughs> Thank you so much. I, I wish you folks would try to have some more fun with this service club here. Uh, it does, doesn't seem like you're a little too serious out here, but uh, thank you so much. And beware of any group that would have me in their Hall of Fame. That's got to be a little sketchy there. So I guess if you're there long enough, they feel sorry for you or whatever. Uh, I guess we're on Kale TV here. So you folks know you're when you're doing all this, you're on television, right? You, you do know that. Okay. That's good. I'm a little nervous. Uh, you talked about me being uh, in radio for so long. Well, now you know why I'm in radio. Look at this mug right here. It doesn't translate very well to television. 
But uh, thank you so much uh, for allowing me to talk. Uh, George Rader asked me to speak on behalf of LCC Athletics, and uh, when a member of the Board of Trustees asks you to come speak at his group, you, you go for that one, right? So George, thank you so much for having me be here. Now I know George is very proud of what we've done uh, at Lower Columbia College, especially in the last year. Now I sent, I put um, this um, kind of recap on the table and if you didn't have a chance, I always know it's a really good year when the typeset is so small I can barely read it. So it's, uh, it's, it was an amazing year in 2016 and 2017. Uh, we have six sports at Lower Columbia College, and um, if you put all of the placings at the championship tournaments together, they give away what's called the Maury Ray Athletic Directors Cup, and uh, I was very proud to accept that on behalf of all of our student athletes. It was just a great year. All right. Incredible. And yes, we remember back in 1991 when, when Steph and the girls, who are members of the NWAC Hall of Fame, by the way, for their great championship, our uh, volleyball team this past year uh, won the title. And I don't think too many people expected that, but they just got on a roll, they pulled together, and it was an amazing uh, championship to get the uh, year started. And to be honest with you, we've got a team this year that has the potential to do it again, so it's awesome. Um, our uh, baseball team won another championship this last year. Uh, they're kind of used to that. It's our, their second in three years, and it's the 12th uh, baseball championship in the, over the years. And that's tough to do. There's a lot of great talent there, and our current coach, Eddie Smith, is doing a great job of bringing in top-level talent, keeping the best guys in town, and getting uh, great players from all over the, the West Coast. So. Doing, doing what we're doing. Our uh, men's basketball team made it to the Final Four last year, lost out. And uh, every year our, our legendary coach Jim Roffler, who would always get sick during the year while he was coaching because he took it to heart so bad, he would, he would always tell me, oh, this is, this is out, I'm out, this is my last year. And I'd always write Jim. And he would always, you'd see him two weeks later, he goes, hey, we've got some good guys in. We're going to be really good this year. So. But believe it or not, he finally did uh, retire as a coach this last year, and it took us all by surprise. Uh, incredible. And so the job was open for the first time in 27 years, and um, we had an amazing group of uh, coaches from really all across the western United States. Some former Division I coaches applied for the job. I'll take that as a compliment. Of course, my first question is, well, what happened? And why do you want to come to this level? But, uh, you know, I'm so invested in this community. And when it all came to it, shop local, buy local. We hired Mickey Polis, right? Awesome. This kid has, well, I, I think the first time I met Mick is when he was a baby at Michael Bus Gym when his dad was coaching and he pooped his pants at the game. And uh, so I figure, you know, hey, what the heck? It all comes full circle. And, uh, <laughs> Yeah, it was ugly. They didn't, Heidi didn't ask me to handle that, but because uh, I was really only, what, seven at the time. But, um, no, Mickey's back home, and he's uh, uh, played at Lower Columbia two years. And really, he has the story that we tell athletes, do you have a dream to play Division I basketball or whatever sport? And you're not fulfilling the dream. The, the D1 coaches aren't knocking their door down for you, right? Well, you can come to Lower Columbia and work your way to that level. Mick did. He played two years at LCC after a great career at Mark Morris. He uh, then got recruited to Portland State, and he played in two NCAA champion, or championship tournaments. Of course, they had to play Kansas one year and got knocked off, of course. But, uh, you know, I mean, what a story to tell these kids. And, and we're talking about a kid that's, you know, 130 pounds ringing wet and it stands only 5'9", and that's probably being generous. So Mick has the story to tell. He's hitting the ground running, and we're going to have a great team this year. Uh, we, we really are. He's brought in some outstanding players. So really excited about Mick taking over the program. Our women's basketball team made the Elite Eight last year and got upset at that point, but they're going to be really good again as well. So uh, Chad Metters is our coach, and he just does a great job as and uh, uh, it's exciting. Our softball team 
Uh, saw it again, another 20 win year. We got to the NWAC tournament, upset a couple of teams, ended up seventh place. And uh, Tracy Fuller is our coach, and she does a great job as well. Our soccer team's kind of a work in progress right now, but I'll tell you what, we get better every year. Harlan Cruiser has put together a really uh, good team this year, much better, and I know he wants to retire as soon as possible, and so we're working on that, trying to, we brought in a young assistant coach, and he's kind of kicking the tires on maybe wanting to get to that level, so uh, uh, pretty exciting. And then if you look, try to look, uh, our program GPA of 316. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah. Um, that's the, I'm most proud of that because it's so much easy to sell the programs to not only the campus community but to the board of trustees and to the fans when we're doing it right. And uh, we bring in kids and if there's some kids that have struggled, we help them by doing mandatory study tables. Uh, don't go to class, you don't play, uh, a lot of things that we do, a lot of mentoring going on there to try to get them to the next level. So if you look at the team GPAs, women's soccer 3-2, uh, women's basketball 3-1-7, men's basketball 2.66, uh, baseball amazing uh, 3.40, softball 3-3, three, three, volleyball 2-7. That's incredible. And the one thing over the years that we've always been able to do is athletics as a whole has a higher GPA than the rest of the student body. It's pretty easy to sell what you're doing when you do that. Yeah. I love it. So I love being around uh, just these uh, uh, kids. A lot of them are from out of town and uh, you know the parents are anxious because they're off on their own. and. We see which ones have been taught the simple things in life and which folks have no clue on how to do laundry or any of that stuff. And uh, uh, we're there to help. So uh, our coaches who are grossly underpaid, and not only do they coach and make sure these kids do right, but the mentoring is unbelievable. We have no campus, we have a small campus housing, but for the most part, they've got to be real estate agent, social worker, and, and all of those types of things. So it's a huge task, and we're up to it. So um, I just you know, wanted to tell you all that. We have a marketing piece that's right there. If there's anybody that has a successful business that would like to get behind that, there's some marketing pieces right there. And if you're also impressed, coming up on um, Thursday, September 21st, the LCC Foundation has been kind enough to allow us to do the Give More 24, which is a a one day, 24 hour fundraising where if you give $10 or more, it all goes towards these scholarships for LCC athletics. And so if you're on the Facebook or whatever, please uh, uh, like Lower Columbia College Athletics and then that way you can be up to date on how maybe you can make a, a huge donation, small donation, whatever that'll help. We have to raise $90,000 every year for our athletic scholarships and really none of that comes from um, the school or the state. It's on us and it's a huge task every year and it gets more difficult every year but uh, hey we do it because these kids deserve it and, and I think we're providing a pretty good uh, activity and product for our community. So that's what we have going. Is there any questions? Anybody has a question regarding the Red Devils? Yes. Yes. Mike McNeely, great guy. He, uh, uh, we put him in the Hall of Fame because he was such a tremendous baseball player at Lower Columbia College, and then went on to Gonzaga. Speaking of the Zags, where he, yeah, sorry, he uh, he became a record holder, one of the all-time greats at Gonzaga in baseball, and was drafted by the Mets. And he was actually drafted four times into professional baseball, and kept putting it off until he, you know, had finished at Gonzaga. And, uh, He's, a, he's another one of those stories that we have all the time. A local kid that stayed in town, kept his Division I dreams alive. The only problem with Mike is he ruined his shoulder uh, in pro ball and uh, couldn't play, pay plat, past that. But uh, the uh, speech that he had at our Hall of Fame was, was amazing. Great guy, Mike McNeely for sure. Yes, sir. You know my question. Yes, Hal, are we going to talk soccer? We're talking soccer. 
Yeah, okay. All right. So, 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 so you want me to cut the men's soccer program out, Hal? That's not very sporting of you. Actually, we don't have one. You're right. Yeah, well, Hal, you know, I mean, Hal's daughter was pretty good for us as well. So, um, yeah, um, you know, adding sports is, is always difficult because, as you can tell, we're, we're just trying to, you know, stay afloat with what we do have. Uh, Title IX, which is a, a great thing that they put in years ago to advance um, women's athletics. It, it's always a balance because if you add a men's team, you have to add a women's squad. Right now, we're at the perfect balance as far as numbers go towards Title IX. Uh, we always have people ask, well, why don't we have a football team again? Like we did back in the old days with Oscar Lemire back in the day. Yeah, you, I see you down there. I see you, and so um, uh, I guess you would have to have at least five or six other schools come up with the two million dollars it would take to do football, so it's pretty tough uh, at our level. So I don't see that in the future, but you know, you never know. Um, well, okay, I, you know, it might be easy for you, Hal, but uh, we barely have a place for our women's team to practice, and that's another issue that they're dealing with in Longview, or the lack of athletic facilities, really, uh, that are uh, top-notch here. So we do with what we can. <laughs> well... Well, well, George, I'm going to defend you on this because you've been awfully supportive of what we're doing here. So, uh, yeah. How how wants to uh, how wants to go? Good luck on that uh, men's soccer thing. I know that's that's kind of a, a rough one there. You, uh, uh, but I would never close close my mind to anything that the community would want or the state or this college would want to fund. That's for sure. Any other questions? Yes. On Hall of Fame. Yes. Is that the committee, I assume? For the Lower Columbia Hall of Fame, Columbia yes. Columbia. Yeah. Yes, we have a uh, committee that may, uh, meets you know, a couple times a year. And um, the, uh, the previous president at Lower Columbia um, didn't want to have the Hall of Fame. So we are so backlogged right now. We had probably a good 12 to 13 years where we didn't induct anyone. And we've had so many great athletes over the years. So we're trying to play catch up at this point. There's uh, so many people that are deserving that, you know, they're on the list. So we're always looking. We do. We are, our Hall of Fame is in early February. It's at our gymnasium. It's a great time. It's, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll probably know in a, about a month or so who will be inducted this year, this next time. Anyone else? Yes, sir. Oh. Any, uh, I think one of the cool things that has happened is the new field for baseball. Uh, what are you hearing from other teams? And well, what I'm hearing is that it's awesome. Our, our new uh, AstroTurf infield, the uh, college made an incredible commitment uh, to that, and so did the community. The county, the two cities put some money up towards that because they know how important having a viable story field is. Uh, our infield was not safe. Um, and so we put a new uh, AstroTurf infield, and it's incredible. It really is. And so we're going to be able to play through the rain showers without having to tarp the field. And uh, I know the Black Bears were very pleased with it this summer. We've been thrilled over it. Uh, the NWAC Championship Tournament over the Memorial Day weekend was tremendous on that turf. Great investment. It really is. And, and with that, in next summer, in August, We'll be hosting our seventh Babe Ruth World Series. Yep, it's coming back, so we're proud of that. 2018, the 15-year-olds will be coming to back to Longview Kelso, so we're thrilled with that. We'll be on that. No more tarp poles during the August rains that we get, yeah. or it seems like, every year. And by the way, thank you so much for your support over the years of that Babe Ruth World Series. It's been amazing, for sure. Any other uh, questions? How am I doing on time, President? I'm doing all right. Well, I just have a, a couple other things that I, I, I want to mention. <laughs> so you should have said, no, you're over five minutes. <laughs> just a couple of things. I, I just want to say, 
how proud I am to be part of this community. I really am. It's been a long time I've been here. I came back from college. That was not my plan. I came back from San Diego State because I was I had Crohn's disease at the time. I guess I still do. And uh, so that kind of got me back here. But Longview Kelso put their meat hooks into me a little bit. And so I have no regrets. I love it. Um, I started my 37th year doing Kelso Highlander football last Friday. Yeah. How a uh, tried and true Mark Morris Monarch was able to fool those people over there that many years, I'll have no idea, but it's been so fun. And you talked about the radio, the Hanson family, and John Paul now, to continue to do this for, well, same time. It's been... I think I'm in my 38th year uh, doing doing local radio, so it's just awesome. And I know a lot. I see all these people that um, are committed to the community as well. And I think I've said this before in the past. I um, I still have my picture of my Pioneer Lions uh, senior Babe Ruth picture with Buddy Black was on that team, and and Kelly Smith and Steve Sweet and all these great friends of mine and. You know, it's, it's, it's cool to be back home and calling it my home. And my son just got married three weeks ago. And he wants to stay in town, but he's having a tough time getting a job. George, work on that a little bit for me, will you? Can't, can't seem to get that HR department at the college, but he's going to keep trying. And uh, he's, uh, you know, he wants to kind of do what I do. And uh, I, I, lo I love it when local people like Mr. Lemaire here, stay in their hometowns and are successful. And it goes back to the shop local, buy local. Thank you so much for all that you do for our community. And uh, give me an email or a phone call over to the college. And if you want to join our booster club, like some of you already have, it's just $200. You get two season tickets for all our sports. And it goes a huge way into getting those scholarship piece put together. So thank you again. Appreciate it. Wow, beer steins now. Yeah. You guys are stepping it up. Put that right next to my coffee mugs. I think this one's going to get used more. Okay. So we have senility plus plus. Uh, President Cindy, uh, Lions and Guests, uh, we had another 100% sign in day today, which was excellent. But we have a couple of blue badges to do today. Gail, you want to come up? Uh, Greg, do you want to come up? Oh, wait a minute. I don't have Greg yet. I don't have it yet, Greg. Stay put. Give me your, give me your red badge. It is on his list, though. Greg. You're on my list, Greg. And Tammy. And, and. And Darla's not here. So. Darla's not here. OK. Thank you, Steve. And announcements, we have the Brassford Lions 60th anniversary, which is September 9th. Yes, that word. U.S. Canada Forum is September 21st, 23rd in Portland. The, um, I'll get to that later. And uh, Doug has a Street of Screams meeting tonight at Columbia Services at 6 o'clock. There is also a legacy meeting the 19th, 2 o'clock, and where? At my office. Columbia Thursday. Services. That's a Thursday at 5 o'clock. <laughs> Kathy Carmody announces the picnic September 17th at the Harveys. It's a potluck. And sign her piece of paper. Oh. And Mike has, Laura Lee has a sock hop. I've already got 10 tickets to sell, so if you could get more tickets and help her sell those, it'd be wonderful. That sock hop is Tuesday, September 19th at the uh, Kelso Longview Elks. Mike Thir Firth has, do you have all your people, Mike, uh, Greg? I know, I changed it to yeah, Greg. <laughs> That's why I got confused, you guys look so much alike. <laughs> Bob Jessen has, um, needs help with the ice cream for the Highlander, so if you could help him sign up or have your kids come and help him, that would be wonderful. 
Tom Rife's funeral is, memorial is um, September 16th, is that right? Yeah. At Trinity Lutheran at noon, wear your yellow jackets. And so that leads us to the tickets, the blutes. 9960718. Aha! We got the person up here. So if you'll bring the cards. And in the meantime, we have the red ticket, and its number is 254220. Who has that one? Up here. Where would you like that money to go? Where would you like that money to go? White cane. And we have baked goods. Kathy, are you doing those? Wow. Right. And that money goes to Relay for Life? Relay for Life. Okay. No winner. And that brings our meeting to adjourn. Thank you, everybody. Have a good week.